All right, so walking into my master bathroom, I have painted it this pink color and I painted the trim, the walls, everything the same color. Um, I want to do the ceiling as well, but I ran out of paint, so there's that. Um, and then the light fixture I'm looking to change. I have the light fixture on the floor, but I haven't had that changed, so I'll show you the light fixture. Um, okay, so first walking in is this vintage brass shelf unit. Um, let's see, how can I get a better look at it? Okay. Okay, so I love how this vintage Etagere fits just right in this little corner right here. You know how old houses always have these like little uh, nooks and crannies and stuff like that. And this Etagere fits perfectly in here. Um, so yeah, I got this vintage brass Etagere from the thrift store for $6.99. So what's on top of it? I have this mother of pearl type. It's not really mother of pearl, but it looks very similar to mother of pearl. Um, bowl slash plate here. And I have some vintage jewelry on it. Um, some costume, a costume piece right here. You'll see that all throughout this video. Um, and then this little dainty piece I got the other day from the thrift store. I need to put some jewelry in that. I love to um, style up china pieces or things like that with my jewelry and my getting ready space. I don't know, I just find it really chic, like a chic, like lived in type vibe. Um, and then this little trinket box here. I don't have anything in it at the moment, but I love it. And then this swan, um, a vintage candle holder. Let's see, this Chanel book. And, and then this vintage tray I got from an antique shop. Um, let's see, this Avon collectible. Um, there's that. And it, you can put, you can take his head off and put perfume or something like that, body spray or something in it this Chanel perfume and then Chanel mirror um, and then this vintage Louis wallet vintage bird print I love bird prints I love chinoiserie um let's see some more books I love to decorate with books I just feel like it gives a home, a home more soul and like it just it feels more lived in um let's see more vintage jewelry. Um, let's see, this vintage tray I got from an estate sale with some of my sunglasses and um, glasses. Okay, so then let's move over here to the side. So this chair I got from, where did I get that? I got that from an estate sale. No, I got it from, I got it from a thrift store. And yeah, ignore the toilet paper rolls, oh, it's his life. Um, let's see, so the chair, I paid like a couple bucks for it. That's the light fixture that I need to be, that needs to be hung up. Um, a pair of Prada pumps, I just feel like they look chic there. And then some books and this little Asian piece. I just found it pretty. I don't know what, what it was in it, but I like it. A Vanity Fair book that I've had for a long time. This Architectural Digest book or um, magazine, um, I think I just had it for a really long time. It just happened to be laying around. Let's see. Over here is sort of a gallery wall. Um, okay, so these Asian pieces I actually got from a neighbor or was a neighbor that was moving so they gave them to me like whatever they had in their house that was that they weren't going to take with them. Um, so yeah, I didn't pay anything for these panels, which I absolutely love. Okay, so over here, stepping further back, you can see a glimpse into my closet, which I've also made over. I painted it all this color to keep it feeling larger. 
Um, it opens it up more, it feels less choppy, but yet I gave it its own personality by painting these, uh, this freehand wall mural that I'll show more of in just a minute. Um, I painted this abstract art. Um, moving on over here to this feature wall, I guess I didn't really describe this. Um, what's going on over here? Let's see, so I got these two panels, these Asian style panels. I got them free from a neighbor that was moving. Um, let's see. Oh, this abstract art I painted. Um, anyway, sconces, thrift stores, um, all this stuff, thrift stores, stuff like that. Um, Marcel Brower chair, thrift store. Oh. Okay, this Marcel Brower chair, thrift store, got some woman products and an old bucket, blind head knockers, I don't know if you can see that down there. But that's down there. Just draped this little faux fur ordeal on top of the Marcel Brower chair to give it extra comfort. Hey, why not? Um, and then, I don't want to show you my sink. Um, that's where I've been cleaning out my paint brushes, so it's a little messy. Oops, forgot about that. Um, it's always something with me. Um, okay, so this mirror could afford a better clean job. I suck at cleaning glass and mirrors. I've expressed that time after time. <laughs> this, um, let's see. Yeah, but the mirror I've had for a long time I got from an antique shop. Um, I just recently painted my vanity here, like a dark green. I want to put gloss over it. Um, haven't got around to it. Um, Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, this little piece, thrift store, stuff on it, thrift store. Oh yeah, I said I painted that. So let's go over the... What do we have? Okay, so I have done these this freehand style abstract mural ordeal here. And I did the whole closet, um, I figure just maximize the style in such a small space it gives it such impact i don't know um if that makes sense anyways this piece houses some of my vintage pieces and then my favorite louis vuitton um scarf it is the it's a large one it's the louis vuitton shine shawl i don't know if you can really see it but i've shown it in videos um these vintage bags that i love and then this old school Louis bag, old school Chanel bag. I just keep those stuffed there and I don't really use them much to be honest. Um, baskets of like little bags for bags, you know what I'm saying? Like I put my makeup and stuff in there. Um, this vintage Louis box, I hate that you can't really see it. This room's really hard to film because it's dark, like it's its own little, there's no window in here. There's only one window in the main, in the bathroom period. Um, and it's a north facing, so um, it just doesn't film very well, despite the fact that I have the lights on in here. Um, let's see, vintage Louis bag. I've shown you guys this Louis bag. Um, this bag I use a lot actually. It came from the thrift store for a thrill. What else do we have? My makeup down here. Um, I don't have much. I've recently decluttered my makeup and then a um, jewelry box and then that's a jewelry box. Um, and then this rug, this boho style rug. I'm really liking the juxtaposition. Um, some of my accent clothing pieces. Generally, I wear band t-shirts or I wear crop shirts with leggings or tank tops, something like that. And then I'll dress it up with some of these vintage blazers or blazers that I have. Um, and then I also, like if I'm dressing up, I might wear like this. I have some sequent shirt, a lace shirt. I don't know if you can really see that stuff, but it's just stuff that I like sitting out, so I hang them, and then stuff that, like leggings, I keep folded up in an armoire in my bedroom that I've shown you. Um, let's see, the stuff on top of my vanity is jewelry. Let's see, that's pretty much it. I mean, this is a tiny ass closet. I love that I put her in there with the smoking a cigarette, so whenever I am getting ready, I can see the reflection of her smoking a cigarette. As you know, I don't smoke cigarettes, I do vape though. Um, and I like that. I just think that it's chic as hell, like photography, black and white photography of people smoking. Um, so yeah, there is 
pretty much it. All right, so that about wraps it up, you guys. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.